listen to this. Talk about stunning estates. Yeah. I was at a friend, uh, buddy's house today where I got sunburned. His mom rents a house in Malibu every every um, summer for the month of July. I was like, you know, I'd like to rent something down there. I I, have no, I can't, of course. I can't afford it. But I just like to enter into conversations like that. So then she like, calls my bluff and she puts me on the phone with her realtor, like a real estate agent. So I'm like, okay. So what's great about these L.A. real estate agents is they're like right out of a Robert Altman movie. Like they're just exactly what you'd imagine them to be. Like there's dialogue written for them and just handed to them. First of all, they're always super familiar with you. They're like a they're like a, a waiter at Friday's. It's a little weird who's like who gets down on his knees when you're a little kid and you're there with your dad. And he's like, hey, champ. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I bet you're pretty hungry. I bet you want some fucking chicken fingers. Don't it's like. You know, so I, I I get on the phone. This well, of course, her name's Tracy. Every realtor's name is Tracy. Okay, Tracy is either the name of a porn star or a realtor. Okay, and the real estate is is it, porn is much more reputable. So I get on the phone with this woman, and she's like, "Hey, Tim, how are you?" And I'm like, "Good." And she's like, "Let me tell you something right now. This market in Malibu, it's a real knife fight." It's a real knife fight down here in Malibu. I don't care what the government's saying. People are snatching up properties left and right. So I'm just letting you know what it is. And I'm like, okay, I, I, I don't want to get into a knife fight in Malibu. I can't. I will get into maybe a shoving match in uh, Silver Lake, you know, maybe a fender bender in Studio City. But I don't think a knife fight in Malibu is appropriate. Uh, and she's like, so is your budget under 40 a month? She means 40,000. I'm like, yeah, yeah, around there. I mean, I'm like, because if I'm going to spend more than that, I'll just get a house, right? She's like, right. She goes, I'll send you some options. She goes, this could be your summer of love. It's a whole different world out here, Tim. It's a whole different world. She's like, cracked out of her face. She's coked out. Her husband's fucking her assistant. She's like, Tim, it's a real night fight here in Malibu. I haven't felt since I found out my husband fucked my sister last Christmas. <laughs> it's a real night fight here in Malibu. The only thing I ate last week was Adderall and grapefruit juice. It's a real knife fight. Come armed or not. It's a knife fight here in Malibu. My son thinks he's a woman. It's a knife fight. Take the blades out and get cut. Someone's getting cut. My name is Tracy and I'm a real estate agent and you can't take that away from me. You could take everything. My fat sister and her husband in Ohio, those three disgusting kids. She's beat cancer three fucking times. They're so happy in their above ground pool with their poverty, but she doesn't understand. I get in that white Jaguar, license plate says sold, and I drive down to PCH and I say it's a knife fight. It's a goddamn knife fight. Are you ready? I'm like, not really. I'm not really. I don't, Tracy. Tracy, you seem a bit intense. Yeah. I feel like I'm. I'm not really ready mm -hmm. for this. Uh, what are we sword fight? I don't. I'm not ready for it. It's that intensity that she hangs on to. Her husband blew her brains out years ago. She found his brain matter all over the kitchen table. She didn't even move it. She just sat there. Took a little sip of cold brew and stared right out in the beautiful ocean. She's got a stunning estate. It's a stunning view. It's a knife fight. Life's a knife fight. That's probably your high school yearbook yeah. quote. Life's a, life's a knife fight. I can't believe my, my goddamn, I can't believe I got so sunburned. I'm really fucked up. Yeah. Like my sunburn, it's like bad. Looks bad, right? Yeah. It's like a bad one. <laughs> it's, it's, you're very red. It's very, very bad. My nose is like running. I think that's this room. Is your nose running a little too? Running too? It's the fucking studio. Around like minute 30, it starts running. Yeah. It's a studio. Thank God I have this magic spoon. It fucking hurts my mouth. But it won't hurt yours if you don't have a... What do you think of it? Isn't it a nice cereal? I legitimately really like it. The, the, the fruity flavor is the best flavor. It's good. I mean, it, listen, it's good. It's it's low, you know, low and low in what it has to be and high in the, what it has to be as well. You know, it's both low in the bad and high in the good. And that's all we ask. And you don't feel shitty after you eat it. Breakfast is a knife fight. You know what I mean? It's a real knife fight, this market, for healthy cereal. We yeah. can get Kashi, you fucking Tivo-wearing dyke. Put the Kashi down. It sucks. It's not good. So I don't think I'll be renting anything in Malibu because I'm just not prepared for that level of aggression. What options does she give you? Anything? Affordable? I mean, I have to email her, and I probably have to tell her. I've, then I tell her I have no credit. Right. 
I'm like, hey, is there anyone in Malibu that wants to rent me something with no credit? I have money, but no credit. Yeah. How do they feel about, hey, how do you feel about this? Uh, let me t let's talk about our knife before we get into the <laughs> knife fight. Uh, because our knife's kind of dull. I found it on a train, and it's got, it has some dried blood on it, so it has worked before. Yeah. But I just don't know if we can get, you know, they probably have a real nice, sharp shiny knife, you know, from one of those Japanese block of wood and, yeah. you know, one of those knife collections that people buy. It's almost like a samurai sword and I'm coming in with like a dull butter knife used to kill a mother. It's a goddamn knife fight. I just love the way they talk, man. I love, I love real estate agents. I, there's nobody I like more than if they're as deep as a puddle. Mm -hmm. They're as deep as a puddle, these people. I mean, there is nothing underneath there. It doesn't go deeper than that. So this market, hey, Tim, this market's a real knife fight. So I'll tell you this right now. I don't care what the government's saying. People are snatching up these properties left and right. It's a real knife fight down here in Malibu. You know how many times a day she says that? Hey, Karen, how are you? Tracy, just getting back to you. I'm, <laughs> it's heating up down here. Market's a real knife fight. You know how it is. They make stupid... Uh, jokes that have to be like, you can't offend anyone, so the jokes have to be like dad jokes, you know? Yeah. They have to be like, well, you know what happens? You get a little tequila. I could be a little wild. <laughs> I wish I felt. You know, that's what... <laughs> and they're on drugs, too, right? I mean, they're on... They have to be pumping themselves up. Because, yeah. you know, here's the other thing. They're not wrong. It's not, not a knife fight. Like... It's a lot of rich people that are just throwing houses at each other down there, and everybody wants to be in the best place for the summer. Mm. You know? I mean, it's just funny when you hear one of them talk because they're, it's exactly what I would have imagined her to say. It's like perfect, perfect. Have you ever met someone and they were a human being and it's so disappointing and you're like, no, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me your son has MS. Tell me it's a knife fight. No, I want to hear about the knife fight. I want to hear about the billionaires throwing houses at each other on the beach. Oh, there's only a certain amount of plots that everyone wants to build. No. Oh, no, you have a lump on your breast. No, what about the knife fight? <laughs> Can we go back to the good old knife fight? The fake knife fight? That everyone fights with wire transfers and lawyers. I do like Malibu, though. I was driving around, and there's some beautiful, beautiful homes. And, uh, you know, God love the people that are there. It's just nice. The saltwater air is nice. The fish is not that good. You know, I don't understand people Malibu Sifu and re reel in. I mean, the East Coast fish is just better. The cuts of meat, they're colder, they're insulated more, they're fattier, the fish, they taste better. It's very fishy out here. The Pacific fish is very fishy. I don't know why that is. But the East Coast fish is just better. And I'm a big seafood person. And I got to be honest, it's... A little disappointing. That's why you got to just put it in a taco here. You just got to put, just put it in a taco. Just put it in a taco, a little avocado crema. Come on, put a little pico de gallo in there. That's, it's very hard to just get a grilled piece of fish here and have you go, wow. There's none of that. Just put it in the top, put it on the tortilla and just be done with it. Be done with it. It's fucking fishy. I don't know why. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that and then press play on your phone. 